Well guys, welcome back. I hope you're going to enjoy this vlog this week. Um, I have uh, been tidying up a lot here in the chateau and cleaning and getting everything done. Um, lots of paperwork also that needed to be caught up with, which I'm managing to be on top of. And um, I'm really enjoying the peacefulness after my daughter's left, but I do miss them so much already. It's just been the silence is surreal, but life continues and I am having fun doing what I need to do now, catching up with everything and getting things out of boxes and arranging things. So this is a time for me until the end of December and January. So I'm just going to continue with what we need to do. And um, I, hope you enjoy watching this vlog. Just a quick reminder, if you do enjoy this vlog, give us a um, thumbs up. And if you don't mind subscribing, I'd be grateful because I'm trying to build the um, YouTube channel bigger so that we can get more people watching. It'll be so nice if you just subscribe. And um, yeah, enjoy this vlog. from the entrance hall this is what it looks like welcoming everybody Dracula she set the piano up and it looks beautiful she's really taken her time in putting everything together And there's another ghost that's going Good past. Evening. Well, just a quick reminder uh, before everything continues. Um, if you want to subscribe or donate on Buy Me A Coffee, the link is down below in the description, as well as my Patreon account, which is also linked down in my description. So if you want to assist us, I would be so grateful and I'll be uh, thankful the buy, a buy me a coffee is for the flower fund, which I'm collecting everything um, to purchase flowers for the spring. So if you want to be part of it, I'd be grateful. And also the Patreon account where you will get to see things that don't happen on YouTube, but it's private. So you're also welcome to join there. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy what you're watching in the meantime. Till we come. Well, Sharon set up the table for Halloween and we've got the fire going and it looks absolutely gorgeous. She really has made it look lovely. Everybody's sitting over here. She's gone to town. Her decorations are so wonderfully made. At the moment, it's still disorganized, and here is the Chatelaine, Dave. Excuse me, hi. <laughs> here is Sharon and I in our garments, all dressed up, ready I'm waiting to, to go, waiting and to party. We're ready to kill. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
say that again. You're going to brush your teeth. I know, you think you would have done, wouldn't you? Yeah, Sharon's lover. <laughs> <laughs> she had him last night. <laughs> bedroom is progressing at the moment this is what it looks like now and not much has changed but I'm getting there slowly and if we look we have the curtains all set up over there become a really cozy room now and I'm really enjoying it so if we look at the curtains and the view outside on a sunny day I just love this room so much and it's slowly coming together. Right, let's go and explore the bathroom together. So I'll open, I've got the door of Narnia that you can walk through. And this is the bathroom as it is, with the curtains in situ. Let's turn on the chandelier so you can see. As you know, we're still waiting for the court case. I cannot do anything with this bath as yet. So I've just covered it up at the moment to show you the bathroom and how it's looking at the moment. On that end, and over here, it's still looking so lovely. And these curtains are absolutely perfect for here. So we're like 99% finished in this um, bathroom. It's just we need to get the bath connected. So when the court has finally come to their decision, which I believe they are very close, at the moment they're just deliberating, and then we should hear something within the next couple of months. So what do you think of the room now? So if you give me your comments of what you think of the bedroom and the answer, there are a few things that need to be done. Like I've got to hang the pictures up. I still have to hang the pictures up and make a cover for this table over here. 
and nearly there. 99% I'm there. And when the fire comes, I'm going to put one over here, which um, the lady is renovating. I've got another one that needs to be restored. So, hmm. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the master bedroom.